Lise Colucci. I'm one of the life coaches at Queen Being, but I wanted to talk about Hoovers. I had some questions about Hoovers and getting pulled back in. One thing to remember with Hoovers is that the narcissist has many faces and they have an incredibly duplicitous nature and they they are um, only gonna show you the face they need to be seen in order to get what they want. So pretty much anything that's going on is the narcissist trying to get their way, okay? So when you experience something in a Hoover, like an apology maybe, or kindness, or um, friendliness, or love bombing, or um, seeming like maybe they even admit everything that they did wrong, you know what I'm talking about? Some of them will do that. That's nothing more than them trying to get their way, okay? And in the moment, who knows? They may feel like, they may believe what they're saying. I don't know. Who knows what they believe? It really doesn't matter. What matters is what happens next. What happens next is always um, them. It can be a matter of hours, minutes. It can be days. It can be weeks, sometimes months, but usually not that long. Not after, not when it's a Hoover and not when there's been a discard. Usually not. That what happens is the other shoe drops and they put on their other mask, which is the one that you know and don't love and can't live with, <laughs> right? So... So remember that any attempt at kindness, any attempt that they show you at of um, seeming to understand your point of view, any attempt that they have to to um, that the I mean they could say the perfect words and they usually do. They usually know exactly what it is you need to hear, which only proves they knew exactly what you needed to hear all along, and they didn't want to say it. Okay, and any attempt at any of that stuff is nothing more than a mask that they're wearing or to lure you back, really, to get you to believe them. And um, they are going to tell you what you want to hear. But you have to remember that you're believing what you need, what you want and need. You're believing in, the, in them, the thing that you want and need the most. You're not actually believing in the person because the person that they are cannot be these things. They cannot be what you need. And basically everything that you want and need, they have proven to be the complete opposite, all right? So you have to remember what's been proven in the past, not what they're telling you in the moment when you're being hoovered. You have to use logic over, you have to have it override your emotions and really talk to yourself about what's happening. That even though it feels one way, you're gonna listen to your head, okay? Because getting sucked back in is, it's, it's never, never proves good for anyone. You can see people's stories over and over again about what that's like, okay? And it throws you way deeper into the trauma bonds and basically feels like starting over. It's kind of awful. So um, once, oh, here's a point that is important, okay? Once you've been hoovered back, once you believe them, once you uh, go back in any way, the, the mask is off, okay? Once that mask comes off, they're showing you when they do start their devaluing again, the truth of who they are. And in that devalue, in that when the shoe drops, you know, when they, when they flip back to being the darker side, it gets worse and it escalates because basically when you took them back, you're saying to them in their language, in their minds, that you accept them as they are. And that they can do anything they want. They, they they completely turn the tables and take the upper hand every time. Okay, they they believe they've won and they use it. And they will escalate all of their horrible behaviors. They will escalate the gaslighting. They'll escalate all of it um, because they can, right? So this is this is my public service announcement today. Don't fall for the Hoovers. Do not fall for them. Don't don't let yourself be damaged by the Hoovers, okay? Once you're out and you're away and you're no contact, just stay that way. And I know, so then the question was also about getting pulled back in and then ruminating on the trauma, that it that it reawakens the trauma bonds when you're, when you're pulled back in. And, and, and a Hoover attempt can even do that, right? Anything that where you have contact. So again, if coming back to self-care at that point and coming back to... Um, really understanding what's going on. I think, you know, the way I've said it here, and there's a lot more that could be said about what a Hoover is, 
and how it, it what it actually is. It's, you know, it's a narcissist trying to get their way. What do they want? What's the main thing they want? <laughs> it's supply, right? That's all they want. They want supply. They want, um, they want to, they don't want to be alone. They, they need to be in the center of attention, right? Without people giving them the supply, what are they? They're nothing. So remember that, like the mask may seem like it's off. Like sometimes when you're hoovered, they will do this pity ploy thing or this um, thing that looks like vulnerability. It looks like they're understanding your point of view or like they get what you, what you would have been upset about the whole time. They, um, not all of them, some of them, you know, will do this. And it's a really tricky one. It's a covert behavior. And, you know, if you've been with one of them, you know what that they like, right? And it's also, um, it also puts them into victim seat, right? It makes them open and vulnerable to you. So your empathy feeds right into that. You believe because you have empathy, what they're saying is true. And you, of course, want to give them a chance, let them apologize. You think it's real. That mask, it looks all of a sudden what it looks like when you're in it is the mask fell off. And you're finally, for the first time, seeing who this person is. And you can almost fall madly in love with this person again because... There they are, exposing their vulnerability and their truth, so to speak, to you, right? But it's not. It's just another mask, you guys. That's all it is. It's acting, and you know, I think sometimes they believe it. <laughs> they believe it because they've known all along what they've been doing, right? And they know the right words to say. And I think that some actually believe it, but the point is that everything else overrides it. And as soon as they get the upper hand by your back, as soon as they as soon as they have you hooked, it goes away. And that's just proof that they didn't actually believe the remorse they felt. They believe the words they're saying, maybe, but they don't believe in the feeling of remorse that they felt. They can't, or they wouldn't keep doing it. Um, so anyway, when you it it can feel it can feel very confusing. So don't don't fall into that. That's a it's a big trap. And and remember that they don't just have one mask. It's multiple masks that they wear. So every person every um, piece of their personality. You know how sometimes it seems like they are have separate personalities for separate situations. That's what that is. It's acting. It's the perfect setup for that situation. They do the whatever character they need to play. And as soon as they get their way, they switch back. You can use your logic to sort of override the emotion and tell yourself that this is not real. This is so not real. And you don't need to prove it to yourself because I'm telling you, it happens over and over and over again. You don't need to say, well, mine's different because they're not. <laughs> they're just, it happens over and over. To You just read other people's stories of their Hoovers and you'll see they're almost all the same. And understand that it will get worse if you let this person back in. It'll escalate and get worse. You guys take care.